Hello everyone and welcome to part 14. Today we're going to do some particles. And this is really exciting for me because I don't really have tutorials on particles, so we're going to use them right here. And the particles are going to be in the destruction animation. So I'm going to put them inside this object. We have this object to set itself for it. We don't want to destroy this. We want to say sprite index to be negative, which means we basically would disable the sprite index. So there's nothing to show. Instead of that, we are going to have an alarm to destroy the object. So in the create event, basically we want to say alarm zero equals, let's say 200 pixel, uh, 200 frames. So then here we say uh, instance destroy. In here, we are going to initialize our uh, particle system. But first, be before starting the code, I'm going to import sprites. And these are the particles that are going to be emitted from the particle system. And I'll have this uh, round shape and this plus sign. And I will center the origin. Then if you come here, uh, we want to start creating the particle system. So basically we say particles equals part system create. And what this does, it creates a particle system and it assigns the particle system to this variable particles. And you immediately want to go to alarm zero where we destroy this instance. We want to say particle system destroy, then we give it this variable that we initialize in the create event. When we finish emitting our particles, we want to destroy this particle system. This is very important. You have to pay attention to this. Then we are going to uh, characterize the particle system that we just created. For that, we need uh, two things. We need an emitter and a particle type to tell the game what is the type of our particles. So first we say var emitter and you don't really need to make it very temporary, uh, but I don't know, let's make it like this. So var emitter equals particles, em, particle emitter create, then we give it the particle system, then we say var particle type and we say particle type create, fantastic. Then we are going to uh, tell the game how our particle system looks like. And this is not very difficult. First, you want to tell the game to you. We want to tell the game to use our sprite. Now we forgot to name the sprite. Okay. So here we want to come and say particle type sprite. So we tell the game that we are using a sprite. Particle type our sprite, then here we want to tell the game if we want uh, the particles to animate and we say false. If we want them to stretch, you can read it right here, say false and we want it to be random, true. Now what does this true, what this true does is since we are having two image indexes, we must have this as true because we want the particle to choose between these two uh, image indexes. Then we are going to initialize the size of the particle. So we say particle type, then the minimum size to start with, I will say set it to 0 0.7 and the maximum size that it could reach, then size increment. Now I, I put this to be negative 0.02, which means it's going to decrease. It, it, it will go, it's going to fade out, not fade out, but it, it will start shrinking, shrinking until it disappears completely. Then wiggle and we don't want to wiggle. Then we need particle type speed. And we say particle type, 
our minimum speed, maximum speed, and the speed that uh, we want the speed to increment or decrement. And so we set this to be negative 0 0.05. Again, I want them to slow down, not shoot out. Then we want say particle type live, and what this does, it tells the particle uh, how many frames it should live. So we say the minimum to be 60 and the maximum to be 120, which is basically two seconds. Then you want to add the alpha and you can say part type alpha two. There is alpha three, there's alpha one, but I want to use alpha two. And what this does, it, start, it tells the game the starting alpha and I want it to be 0 0.07 and the ending alpha, which is 0 0.07 one all right then i want to set the direction at which our tiny particles are going to be uh, moving so we say particle type direction our particle types and we want to give it the minimum direction the maximum direction then we want the particles to be m changing its direction through the game so we set this to be negative one, so it will be moving uh, clockwise. Then the, the wiggle, we don't want it to wiggle. Then we, we have something uh, that is called orientation, which is the same as angle. So we want this, because we have this plus sign, we want him to have this funny animation of uh, spinning. So I want to say, um, it starts with zero and th so it, it would be between zero and 30, 360 and the speed of this spinning would be five, no wiggle and no relative angle. That's all for our particles. This, uh, this code tells the, si the particle system how, what we want the particles to look like and what we want them to do exactly. Now all we need is to emit these particles. And for that, we want to say particle emitter region because we want to emit them from our uh, candy. So we say we give it the system, which is particles. We give it the emitter, which is this. Then we give it the radius from they can start. And I set this to be x plus 2, x minus 2, x y plus 2. So it's a small square of... Uh, four by four pixels. Then we give it the particle shape, and this is a built-in variable. You want just to say particle system shape ellipse. Then uh, we, you want to uh, give the dis distribution. So we say particle system distribution uh, Gaussian. Then we want the particles to emit. Now we set the region. Then we want them to emit. And there are two ways. One of them is Burst. And what this does is basically just, uh, as it's written here, it just bursts some particles. And this is exactly what we need. So we say particle emitter burst, particles emitter, particle type, then how many particles we want to create. And I want, to, and I set, went ahead and said this to be 12. Now what will happen is, basically, this object will emit 12 particles and they will be absolutely random, they would be moving towards a random direction and they would be spinning and they would be fading out and uh, shrinking until they disappear. Now, this is really interesting. If I run the game now, you'll see how cool it looks like. Now you see, I'll just go ahead and you see, do you see this very, very cool, it's tiny animation, but it's fantastic. You see, it adds a lot to our game. It makes, you see, it makes, it makes the game look fresh and, and amazing. All right. Now this is the part that is related to the particles. All right. Next, we want to go to the bar itself, and we are going to add some 
tiny animation to that. So here we are drawing the, I actually I went ahead and made all these three to be a comment. So what I want to do now is I want to add a small, to, to make the bar glow, uh, the glowing part, I want it to glow. So what I want to do here, I want to initialize a variable and call it alpha and it, it will be zero, it starts at zero. Actually, you know what, it starts at one. And we need another variable and I will call it count. It equals to, let's say, and it will be the speed at which our uh, alpha would be increasing and decreasing. So I want to set it, let, let's say, 0 0.05. And you want to come to the draw event. And so what's happening is when alpha is less, is bigger than one, we want to set count to be negative count because we are going to change the alpha all the time. So we want to say alpha plus equals count. Now, since alpha is changing, when it reaches one, 1, 1.05, it will go back to be negative 0 0.5. So it starts decreasing. And when it reaches uh, below zero, it, it turns back to be positive. So it would be increasing and going towards the positive one. So all, all what will be happening it, is it will go between it will start going from zero to one, back to zero, back to one, back to zero, and so on. And we want to implement this. So what you want to say is draw sprite extended sprite glow image index to be zero at the same position that our glow is, then uh, the, uh, the uh, same y position, the x and y scale to be one, the uh, rotation, the angle is zero, image blend the same, but only alpha would be changing. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but the this is glowing right now. And if we destroy any candy, you see now that we've created this amazing particle system. All right, so that's it for today. And actually, there is a lot to do in this game, but we don't really have time right now. So I'll see you guys in the next one.